Hey guys, Chantel here and thank you so much for clicking on the video. So if you're here, you're looking for how exactly you can make money as a beginner in affiliate marketing and that's what we're going to discuss today, all right? So before we get into the four key things that you need to know as a beginner affiliate marketer to make sure that you maximize your returns and succeed in affiliate marketing, we first need to understand what exactly is affiliate marketing, right? So if you're totally new and you don't really know what affiliate marketing is, all you need to understand is that it's a process of selling digital products online and receiving commissions for those products. Right. And it could be really anything that you, you'd like. You could sell products in any industry, the golfing industry, the uh, food industry, weight loss, uh, singing, literally anything. Right. So what then are these four key things that you would need to know? The first thing you need to know is making sure that you check the reviews of a product. Research is key. Right. You don't want to ever sell products that have bad reviews, bad reputation, a negative name on them, because what happens, it directly reflects on you as a person. Integrity is the most important thing with affiliate marketing, and you need to make sure that you're building a relationship and a base with your customers that they can actually trust what you're saying. So the easiest way to first enter into selling good products with affiliate marketing is making sure you do your product research in whatever niche area that you're interested in. As we said, it can be from any industry that you'd like to sell products in, make sure that you do your research on the reviews. And that's really easy. You can go on Google, you can go on Facebook, you can go on YouTube. I love doing YouTube, um, searching on YouTube reviews because people tell you in detail their experiences with that product and it, that product, sorry. And it's usually people who have been within that system and actually have experimented it from the, for themselves, giving you their own personal addict anecdotes. You can check out blogs as well. There's lots of blog reviews. So there's many ways that you can be able to research on the reviews for a product. Second thing then you need to note is a sales funnel. So what exactly is a sales funnel? All it is really is where you have one product sale and then you have multiple product sales after that one sale. So for example, if you're selling a course on how to sing and the initial opt into the singing academy, let's say is $100 per month right? So you're paying your $100 per month. And let's say you've reached a certain level where you'd like to advance your singing skills. And then you get an offer that teaches you more advanced singing skills. And all you need to do is opt in. And now it's $150 per month instead of $100 per month, right? So you now increase to $150. And then after some time, you now want to advance your skills even more. Maybe there's certain webinars that you can attend. Maybe there's one-on-one -on -one training sessions with a coach, right? So for that to happen, then you need to pay a little bit extra, maybe now $300 a month, maybe $500. And that just continues down the line, depending on how many products that the company um, wants to sell you guys, right? That is a sales funnel. And what I've just described is actually an upsell sales funnel, which means every product gets more and more expensive each time the person chooses to advance into the next level. All right, think of it kind of like a video game. <laughs> Every time you want to advance to the next level, there's something that you're gonna gain from it, right? So you're gonna gain like a new character or new skill sets and things. It's kind of the same thing with selling, right? Each level you get, you unlock new skills and you will need to, um, to pay a certain amount to, to be able to unlock them. So that's what a sales funnel is. Now you don't want products that don't have a sales funnel looking like that, right? You don't want to sell, to sell products that just have a one-time payment and that's it. For example, books on Amazon, right? It's not really a sales funnel where once you buy one book, you'll buy the next, etc., etc., from the same author or from the same company, right? So you want to make sure that you don't opt into one-time $20 sales, for example, because it just means that you're going to have a lot, lot, lot more work to do to actually sell and hit a certain amount of money that you want to hit. If you're trying to sell $20 books and each book um, is only a one-time sale, then by the time you're trying to reach let's say even $10,000, how many $20 books would you have had to sell? How many customers would have had to opt in? Whereas if it's a program or an academy or system that has an upsell pro program where it goes from 100, 150, 300, 500, etc., then you only really need to sell to a few customers in order to reach the 10,000 or maybe even just one or two, right? And so the more customers that you're able to get with that model, the more you're able to make rather than getting it with a one-time sales model. I hope that makes sense, right? So the next thing that you need to do, number three, is 
buy the actual product <laughs> please please buy the product and own the product that you're trying to sell people again this links back to the first point on integrity you don't want to sell products that you are not familiar with that you haven't tried that you haven't bought right because again it it does hinder your integrity um, as an affiliate marketer and as soon as that happens you know how the world is today cancel culture and everything right so you don't want to be caught up in that and you don't want people to come and start saying that you're not a legitimate marketer or that you're marketing things that you don't really know about people can always 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 cut you out at some point so make sure that you buy the product that you're actually going to sell people so that you yourself know that this is something i want to use this is something i enjoy using and it is something that i would want to and be very confident to market it to other people so that's number four please make sure you buy and own the product that you're going to sell to people the last thing is commissions right commissions is everything that affiliate marketing is so if you don't go for products that have good commission rates you're basically screwing yourself right so you don't want to go for for example amazon products that only have their affiliate program only has a 10 percent um commission maximum that you can be able to earn now if you sell a product that is a thousand dollars that's only a hundred dollars that you're making from commissions Whereas if you sell a product that is a thousand dollars with a company that has an affiliate program that's giving you 30% commission, that's $300, right? So for every product, you're making $200 more than you would have with a 10% commission sale, right? Or if you, uh, if you have a 50% commission rate, that's $500, right? That's a massive difference with each sale. And of course, when you compound that and, um, and, and, and multiply it by the number of people who you're actually selling to, let's say you have 100 people that you've sold to, can you imagine that difference? right between a 10 commission percent commission rate and a 30 40 or 50 percent commission rate right you always always want to make sure that you do not opt for products that have less than a 30 percent commission rate if you do you are really really screwing yourself as an affiliate marketer and making it that much harder to earn money all right of course if if, uh, if there's any program um and there are a few but very rare programs that are above 50 percent then you're definitely golden right <laughs> more is everything so um please make sure that you stay within that range never opt in for products that are less than 30 percent please don't shortchange yourself as an affiliate marketer because you are doing a lot of work to be able to earn that money so you should be able to get your money's worth now thanks guys for listening to this video and last thing if you guys want more of an in-depth discussion into the actual uh, details and intricacies of all the concepts that we've discussed today, then you can feel free to click the link below, all right? That will lead you to a free video training course. All you need to do is leave your email, and um, then I'll be able to send you a free video training course on your emails. And that will go um, a lot deeper into the strategies that we've discussed today. And at the end of that, there's also then a course that you can opt into for affiliate marketers for beginners, literally. Like <laughs> you don't have to know anything about affiliate marketing to get into this course. I didn't know when I got into that course. Um, and it's, as I said, you know, I'm practicing what I preach. I did buy the, pro the, the product. I did go through the course and it is absolutely amazing. And that's how I managed to be able to succeed as an affiliate marketer. So um, if you guys are interested, you can feel free to click the link down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.